Hey everyone, how you doing? It is Saturday morning and I decided I'm going to go ahead and do a collage page with you guys. I haven't done that in a while. Um, you know, I guess <laughs> through the month of December things got a bit crazy and I wasn't able to do this. So, I am looking forward to doing this with all of you. So, all I'm going to do, I just love, 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 love to collage. Um, it's my go-to, you know, way of creating when I sit down. I just want to, to do some collaging. And I think the reason is because... I mean, to me, it's just so relaxing. Um, I can use, you know, a lot of pieces from my stash. Um, you know, because I tend to save <laughs> probably pretty much everything I feel like. In fact, my granddaughter, who is five, she's saving stuff for me now. So, you know, I have, <laughs> I think I have corrupted her. Um... All right, so all I'm doing at this point in time is I'm taking my my little album here, my 8x8 album from Michaels, and I have my Mod Podge that I just, I have a big container of it, so I just put a little bit in this one, um, just so that it's easier to work with. And I have little pieces of goodies here. I have some stuff from Julianne, Juliana from... A KIF swap so that's the little the little paper clip um, pieces here I have items from Marissa from uh, what she sent to me and then I have a couple tags tickets that I made so and my granddaughter like I said who was five she actually did this and I just wanted to put it on here. You know, that's what I do a lot of the time, too. Like, something. Something catches my eye. And I just have to get it down on a page. So, that's really where this whole page started, was with this little piece of paper. And the paper was on the counter this morning. And, um, you know, I asked Madison if I could use it on a page and uh, so here I am I'm gonna put it down and uh, and use it now I am noticing obviously I guess maybe you guys can see too when I'm putting the Mod Podge on top of it it is, it is definitely moving around uh, the color on that paper I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to touch that too too much so this little piece right here was just from, just what it says, a package of pomegranate seeds. Um, you guys know I have a parrot, and Maui just loves his pomegranate seeds. So see, this is what I mean about I save, like, everything. I look at this stuff, and I'm like, oh, well, I could use that. I could use that. I could use that. And then <laughs> it's funny because when I do try to throw things away... Then my awesome YouTube subscribers um, kind of talk me out of it. And then I go pull it out of the garbage. <laughs> so, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> but it's just, I think it's funny. So that this right here was just a piece of washi that I had um, sitting there, not doing too, too much. Now this is kind of bothering me right here, so I'm actually thinking about pulling that piece off and maybe using it on another page at some point. I think, I don't know if I can do it now, because it's kind of gooed up, right? But I'm going to, I might as well and get it down on this paper. And, you know, what I did was I went through my stash, and like I said, I started all with that one piece that my granddaughter drew with her markers. And so I just went through my stash and just pulled out 
there we go, that's better, and pulled out, you know, similar colors or colors that I thought would look good together. I like the blue on the background for two reasons, because it makes the red pop, and also there is a little bit of blue in this piece. This is one of the cards from Marissa. So, you know, I really, I, I just, I just get this stuff down, just get it down. Um, and for the most part, it works out quite well. I mean, I guess there's times where it's not my favorite, but see, now I'm thinking that might be a little too big. I think this looks more collage if that's a word, than that bigger piece. So I'm going to use this instead. Instead. And so these tickets I like a lot actually when I made them I wasn't super duper duper fine fond of them but I knew that I would certainly have a page that I could use them on so I'm gonna get them down on here and I am a, I have a little bit of a cold not a cold I don't know what the heck it is to tell you the truth um, I got it from my granddaughter, and last weekend she was rather sick with a really, really bad cough and cold and just miserable. And, and my, my daughter um, works nights. She is a, an assistant store manager at Kohl's, and so she works nights. So my granddaughter, Madison, is here with me. And so last Friday night, when my daughter was working, um, you know, Madison is in her bed. It's like late at night. It's like midnight or after. And she is just coughing up a storm. And I just felt so bad. She was so far away. And, you know, because she's upstairs and I'm downstairs. And, um, you know, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I went upstairs and... And I brought her down into bed with me. So, of course, you know, she's facing my direction in the bed, <laughs> coughing. And it's like, that's it. I know I'm going to get sick. <laughs> and sure enough, I, I got it a little bit this week. Um, so I'm just trying to, trying to get over that at this point. But, you know, it, it was worth it. I mean, I don't want to be sick, but I... You know, it, I needed to have Madison where I could watch her, and, and she just she just couldn't couldn't stop coughing, could not stop coughing. So you'll notice when I do the collaging, then I'm putting, you know, pieces over pieces that, um, you know, I don't leave them separated. I like to layer and. And I like that look to, it just, you know, unifies the page. All right. And I have this little itsy bitsy bitsy piece I'm just going to throw in there. Okay. So, so that is the base. So I think what I'll do at this point, let me see if I can hit it with the heat to tool real, real, real quick. Sorry, I just made the... Just made it shake, sorry about that. So I'm just gonna hit it with the heat tool. Right now it's very, very, very wet, right? You saw me put all that Mod Podge down. So what I wanna do on top of this, you know, I, I don't know, I guess I don't do a lot with like focal pieces. So like some people might put a digi that they colored down or I don't know draw a face or I don't know um, when I do something like this you know and not that I don't like coloring did you use and I love drawing faces uh, but I have to really be in the mood for that otherwise they don't seem to come out right um, you know I when I'm doing this I really just want to play around that's all and the brush that I use, and I marked it glue because I have a few of these, um, is a, the Dina Wakely, her mixed media brushes. Uh, it's my 
favorite brush is that size, the nice big one. So I'm just going to actually, oops, take her white gesso. You know, and this is nothing new, this technique, but I so much enjoy it. I just really enjoy watching the page transform, right? So it's going to pick up on the higher, um, the more, oh, how do I say that? The more textured um, pieces on the page, right? So it's not going to be smooth, and I don't want it smooth. And so this, to me, also helps to um, unify the page. Now I can still see what's under there, right? I didn't cover everything up. I'm just bringing it to me. It just feels like it's bringing it together just a little bit. It kind of like softens it up and brings all the different collage pieces and unifies them. It brings them together. All right, so there's that then. And then I think the last piece I'm gonna do to this is I'm gonna get out, I don't know, some paints or some inks or something and just kind of do some, I wanna say doodling around it. I guess that's what I would call it. Um, so let's see what we have here. I have black. I think I'll go with some black. So I have some acrylic paint in here mixed with water. And I'm just going to go ahead. And I just love doing this. If if you guys watch the Mary Atier, um, she uses those, I guess they're called fine line um applicators and they have the really 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 fine tip on it and gosh she's such an artist she can just take those and just I'm telling you draw anything it's amazing she's she's amazing um so you know I'm I'm a wannabe <laughs> I will never be like her she is just such an awesome artist but I do like to play um, like this using um, these applicators that I kind of kind of made myself. All right, whoops, I'm going into the gesso over there. So I think what I'll do is I'll get a little bit more doodling down. Hey, you know what? Hey, Jamie, here is my doodle. Oh no, I don't think I can use this because I remember now you said if you do like a journal page, it has to be at least 50% doodling. And I don't think this is 50% doodling. So I guess I can't count this, but that's okay. I'm still going to do it because, you know, Jamie, I just have to tell you that doodling, I like doodle everything. I'm at work and I'm writing numbers, and all I think about is doodling them. It's hysterical. I mean, I'm like so addicted. You have me totally addicted, which is good. I'm enjoying it. So let's see. So I'm at 13 and a half minutes, and because I use an iPad, I can only go to 15 minutes. Um, otherwise, it doesn't upload to YouTube. It would just stop. It would just say I have to shorten the video. So I'm going to end it here and I will go and dry this off camera and I'm going to call this one done. So that is my page. Let me hold it up closer and go around. And you know what? I totally enjoyed doing this and I enjoyed doing it with all of you. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.